Once upon a time, in a small village by the sea, there lived a kind woman named Nkiru. She had long dark hair and a gentle smile. The village was surrounded by tall palm trees and golden beaches. The villagers were fishermen who caught fish from the sea to feed their families. Nkiru was known for her delicious milk that she sold in the village market every day. Everyone loved Nkiru's milk. It was sweet and creamy, and people said it made them feel happy and strong when they drank it. Every morning, Nkiru would wake up early and go to her backyard. There, she had a big blue bowl where she would collect the milk to sell. The villagers often wondered where Nkiru got such tasty milk, since she didn't own any cows. But Nkiru kept her secret to herself. One day, a curious boy named Adebayo decided to find out Nkiru's secret. He sneaked into her backyard very early in the morning and hid behind a bush. He wanted to see how Nkiru made her special milk. As the sun began to rise, Nkiru came out to her backyard. She sat down next to the big blue bowl and began to press milk from her own breasts into it. Adebayo's eyes grew wide with surprise. He couldn't believe what he was seeing. Adebayo ran back to the village shouting, Nkiru's milk comes from her own body. She's been selling us her breast milk. The villagers were shocked when they heard this. They gathered in the village square, talking loudly and angrily. How could Nkiru trick us like this? They said. We've been drinking her breast milk all this time. When Nkiru came to the market that day, the villagers confronted her. Is it true? They asked. Have you been selling us your own milk? Nkiru looked down at her feet feeling ashamed. Yes, she said softly. It's true. I'm sorry I didn't tell you. The villagers were very upset. Some of them shouted at Nkiru, calling her names. Others picked up stones, ready to throw them at her. Nkiru began to cry, scared of what the angry villagers might do. Just then, the village elder stepped forward. He was a wise old man with a long white beard. Stop, he said in a loud voice. Before we judge Nkiru, we must hear her story. There may be more to this than we know. The villagers quieted down, and Nkiru began to tell her tale. Many years ago, she said, I was a normal woman like any other in our village. I had a husband and two beautiful children. We were very happy. Nkiru's eyes filled with tears as she continued. But then, a terrible sickness came to our village. My husband and children got very sick. I tried everything to help them, but nothing worked. In the end, they all died. The villagers listened silently, feeling sorry for Nkiru's loss. I was all alone, Nkiru said. I had no way to make money or feed myself. I was so sad and scared. She took a deep breath and went on. One night, when I was at my lowest point, something magical happened. I had a dream about a beautiful mermaid. She had long green hair and a shimmering tail. In my dream, she spoke to me. The villagers leaned in, curious to hear more. The mermaid told me she had seen my suffering, Nkiru explained. She said she wanted to help me. She touched my chest with her hand and said, From now on your breast milk will be magical. It will be delicious and will make people happy and healthy. You can use this gift to survive and to help others. Nkiru looked at the villagers with hope in her eyes. When I woke up, I found that the mermaid's words were true. My breast milk was different, sweeter and more plentiful than before. I decided to sell it in the market, but I was too ashamed to tell anyone where it really came from. The village elder stroked his beard thoughtfully. This is indeed a strange tale, he said. But if what Nkiru says is true, then her milk is a gift from the sea. It has brought health and happiness to our village for many years. The villagers began to whisper among themselves. They remembered how Nkiru's milk had helped sick children get better, how it had given strength to the old and weak. Maybe it really was magical after all. One old woman stepped forward. I remember when my grandson was very ill, she said. Nothing helped him get better until he drank Nkiru's milk. After that, he recovered quickly. Others began to share similar stories. They realized that Nkiru's milk, though it came from an unusual source, had been a blessing to the village. The elder raised his hand for silence. Nkiru, he said, you should have told us the truth from the beginning. 
but we understand why you were afraid. Your milk has helped many people in our village. We thank you for sharing this gift with us. Nakiru's eyes filled with tears of relief. Thank you for understanding, she said. I promise I will never keep secrets from you again. From that day on, Nkiru continued to sell her magical breast milk in the village. But now, everyone knew where it came from and appreciated it even more. They called it Mermaid's Milk and believed it brought good luck to those who drank it. As the years passed, Nkiru's fame spread to other villages. People came from far and wide to taste her magical milk. Nkiru used the money she earned to help those in need, just as the mermaid had helped her. One day, many years later, when Nkiru had grown old, she went for a walk on the beach at sunset. As she stood at the water's edge, she saw a flash of green in the waves. For a moment, she thought she saw the face of a beautiful mermaid smiling at her. Then, in a splash of water, the vision was gone. Ninkiru smiled to herself, remembering the magical gift she had been given so long ago. She knew that even when she was gone, the story of the mermaid's magical milk would live on in her village for many years to come. As time passed, Nkiru's village grew and prospered. People came from all over to taste the magical mermaid's milk and to hear the story of how it came to be. The village became known as a place of healing and happiness. Nkiru, now an old woman with grey hair and kind eyes, still lived in her small house by the sea. She no longer sold her milk in the market, but she still produced enough to help those who were very sick or in great need. One day, a young girl named Amara came to visit Nkiru. Amara was curious about the old woman and her magical milk. Grandmother Nkiru, Amara said, I've heard so many stories about you and your milk. Is it true that it came from a mermaid? Nikiru smiled at the young girl. That's what I believe, she said. But the truth is, I've never seen the mermaid again since that night long ago. Amara's eyes widened with wonder. Do you think the mermaid is still out there in the sea? Nikiru looked out the window at the waves crashing on the shore. I don't know, child, but I like to think she is, watching over us and helping those in need. As they talked, dark clouds began to gather in the sky. The wind picked up, blowing sand from the beach into the air. Nikiru frowned, looking worried. A storm is coming, she said, and it looks like a big one. We must warn the village. Nikiru and Amara hurried to the village square, where they found people already gathering, looking up at the dark sky with concern. The village elder, a man named Chidi, raised his voice to be heard over the rising wind. Everyone, take shelter in your homes. Bring in anything that might blow away in the storm. The villagers rushed to follow his instructions, battening down windows and doors, and bringing their animals into barns and sheds. As the storm hit, the wind howled and rain poured down in sheets. The sea rose up, waves crashing higher and higher on the shore. The villagers huddled in their homes, scared of the powerful storm. Nikiru sat in her house, watching the storm through her window. She saw trees bending in the wind and heard the crash of thunder overhead. But something else caught her attention. A strange, melodious sound coming from the direction of the sea. Despite the danger, Nikiru felt drawn to investigate. She put on her rain cape and stepped out into the storm. The wind nearly knocked her over, but she steadied herself and made her way towards the beach. As she reached the shore, Nkiru could hardly believe her eyes. There, in the churning waves, she saw a group of mermaids. Their long hair streamed out behind them, and their tails glimmered even in the dim light of the storm. The mermaids were singing, their voices rising above the sound of the wind and waves. As they sang, Nkiru noticed something amazing happening. The storm began to calm. The wind died down, the rain lessened, and the waves became smaller. Nkiru watched in awe as the mermaids continued their song. Slowly, the dark clouds parted and a ray of sunlight broke through. The storm was over. As the sea calmed, the mermaids swam closer to the shore. One of them, with long green hair, looked directly at Nkiru and smiled. Nkiru's heart leapt. It was the same mermaid she had seen in her dreams so many years ago. The mermaid spoke, 
her voice as clear as a bell. Ninkiru, you have used our gift wisely, helping many people over the years. We have come to thank you. Ninkiru bowed her head, overwhelmed with emotion. It is I who should thank you, she said. Your gift changed my life and the lives of so many in our village. The mermaid nodded. Your kindness and generosity have not gone unnoticed. We mermaids have decided to bless your village further. From now on, your waters will always be full of fish, and your land will be fertile and green. No storm will ever again threaten your homes. With these words, the mermaids began to sing again. Their song was joyful and uplifting, and as they sang, Nikiru felt a warmth spreading through her body. She looked down and gasped. Her wrinkled old hands were becoming smooth and young again. The mermaid with green hair spoke once more. Nikiru, we give you the gift of renewed youth. You will have many more years to continue your good work in the village. Tears of joy ran down Nikiru's now smooth cheeks. Thank you, she whispered. I will use this gift well. With a final splash of their tails, the mermaids disappeared beneath the waves. Nikiru stood on the beach, feeling stronger and more alive than she had in years. As she turned back towards the village, she saw people emerging from their homes, looking around in wonder at the suddenly calm and beautiful day. When they saw Nkiru, they could hardly believe their eyes. She looked just as she had decades ago when she first started selling her magical milk. Nkiru told the amazed villagers about the mermaids and their gifts. The people rejoiced, thankful for the blessings that had been bestowed upon their village. From that day on, the village thrived like never before. The sea was always full of fish, the land produced bountiful crops, and no storm ever damaged their homes again. Nunkiru, with her renewed youth, continued to help those in need, sharing her magical milk and the wisdom she had gained over her long life. The story of Nunkiru and the mermaid's gifts became legend, passed down from generation to generation. Children would sit on the beach, hoping to catch a glimpse of a mermaid's tail in the waves. And sometimes, on quiet nights, people said they could hear the faint sound of mermaid song carried on the sea breeze. Years passed, and the village continued to grow and prosper. Nkiru, though she had been given renewed youth, eventually began to feel that her time in the village was coming to an end. She had lived a long and fulfilling life, helping countless people with her magical milk and wisdom. One evening, as the sun was setting over the sea, Nikiru felt a familiar calling. She walked down to the beach, her feet leaving prints in the soft sand. As she reached the water's edge, she saw the mermaids waiting for her, their faces kind and welcoming. The green-haired mermaid extended her hand. Nikiru, she said, you have done so much good in your life. It's time for you to rest now. Will you come with us? Nikiru looked back at the village she loved then turned to the mermaid with a smile. Yes, she said, I'm ready. As Nkiru stepped into the water, a magical transformation began. Her legs joined together, forming a beautiful shimmering tail. Her hair grew longer and took on a silvery sheen. In moments, Nkiru had become a mermaid herself. With a joyful laugh, Nkiru dove into the waves with her new mermaid sisters. The villagers who saw this marveled at the sight, knowing that their beloved Nkiru had found a new home beneath the sea. Though Nkiru was gone, her legacy lived on. The village continued to thrive, blessed by the mermaid's gifts, and every so often, on quiet nights, the villagers would hear a haunting, beautiful song coming from the sea. They knew it was Nkiru, singing to them from her new home in the depths of the ocean. The story of Nkiru the woman whose magical breast milk fed a whole village became a cherished tale told throughout the land. It reminded people of the power of kindness, the magic of the sea, and the unexpected ways that blessings can come into our lives. And so, dear children, remember the story of Nikiru. Remember that magic can be found in the most unexpected places, and that a single act of kindness can change many lives. Who knows? Perhaps one day, you too might hear the song of the mermaids, calling you to adventure and wonder beneath the waves. As the years went by, the village that Nkiru had called home became known far and wide as a place of miracles and magic. 
people traveled from distant lands to see the prosperous village by the sea, where the fish were always plentiful and the crops never failed. The villagers never forgotten Kiru or the gifts she had brought them. They built a statue of her in the village square, showing her as both a woman and a mermaid. Children would play around the statue, telling each other stories of the kind woman who had once lived among them. Amara, the young girl who had been with Nkiru on the day of the great storm, grew up to become the village storyteller. She would gather the children around her and tell them tales of Nkiru and the mermaids. Listen, children, Amara would say, her eyes twinkling, and I'll tell you about the day Nkiru taught us all about sharing. The children would settle down eagerly, always excited to hear more about the magical woman who had become a mermaid. One summer, Amara began, our village was visited by a group of travelers. They were thin and hungry, having journeyed far with little food. When they arrived at our village, they hoped to trade for supplies, but they had nothing of value to offer. The children listened intently as Amara continued her tale. The villagers were unsure what to do. We wanted to help, but times had been hard that year, and we didn't have much to spare. That's when Nkiru stepped forward. Amara's voice took on a tone of wonder as she described what happened next. Nkiru invited all the travelers to her home. There, she filled bowl after bowl with her magical milk. The travelers drank deeply, and as they did, a change came over them. Their cheeks grew rosy, their eyes brightened, and their strength returned. The children gasped in amazement. But that wasn't all, Amara said with a smile. As the travelers drank Nkiru's milk, they began to share stories of their homeland. They spoke of distant mountains and vast deserts, of cities with tall towers and markets filled with exotic goods. The villagers listened in wonder, their minds filled with images of far-off lands, Amara continued. As the travelers spoke, something magical began to happen. The bowls of milk that Nkiru had given them never seemed to empty. No matter how much the travelers drank, there was always more. The children's eyes widened at this part of the story. Seeing this miracle, the villagers realized that they too had something to share. They began bringing out food from their own homes, fresh fish, ripe fruits and warm bread. Soon, a great feast was laid out in the village square. Amara's voice grew soft as she described the scene. Villagers and travelers ate together, sharing food and stories late into the night. By the time the moon rose high in the sky, the travelers were no longer strangers, but friends. What happened next? One of the children asked eagerly. Amara smiled. The next morning, when the travelers prepared to leave, they found their bags had been filled with gifts from the villagers. Food for their journey, colorful cloths, and small tokens to remember us by. But the greatest gift was the one Nkiru gave them. The children leaned in close, not wanting to miss a word. Nkiru presented each traveler with a small bottle of her magical milk. This milk will never run dry, she told them. Whenever you or someone you meet is in need, you will always have something to share. Amara's eyes twinkled as she concluded her tale. From that day on, word of our village's kindness spread far and wide. Travelers would go out of their way to visit us, bringing with them new stories, songs and ideas. Our village grew richer not in gold, but in friendship and knowledge. The children sat in awe for a moment, then burst into excited chatter. They loved hearing about how Nakiru's generosity had brought so much good to their village. As the children dispersed, still talking about the story, an old fisherman approached Amara. You tell the tales well, he said with a nod, but there's one story you haven't told them yet, the story of the great fish. Amara's eyes lit up. She had heard whispers of this story, but had never known the details. Will you tell me? She asked eagerly. The old fisherman nodded and settled down beside her. It happened many years ago, he began, not long after Nkiru had become a mermaid. And so, another tale of Nkiru's magical influence on the village began to unfold. In those days, the old fisherman said, I was just a young man learning the ways of the sea from my father. One day, as we were out fishing, we saw something extraordinary. Amara listened intently as the fisherman described that fateful day. 
The sea was calm, almost too calm. Not a ripple disturbed the surface. Then suddenly, the water began to churn. At first, we thought it was a storm brewing, but then we saw it. A fish larger than any we had ever seen before. The fisherman's eyes grew distant as he recalled the memory. Its scales shimmered with all the colors of the rainbow. Its eyes were wise and ancient. As it breached the surface, water cascaded off its massive body like a waterfall. What did you do? Amara asked, completely enthralled. We were frozen in awe, the fisherman replied. Then, to our amazement, the great fish spoke. Its voice was deep and resonant, like the rumble of the ocean itself. The great fish told us that it had been sent by Nkiru and the mermaids. It said that from that day forward, it would be the guardian of our fishing grounds. It would ensure that there would always be enough fish for our village, but in return, we had to promise to never take more than we needed. Amara nodded thoughtfully. That's why our nets are always full, but the sea never seems to have fewer fish. Exactly, the old fisherman said with a smile. The great fish taught us the importance of balance and respect for the sea. Since then, our village has never known a day without a good catch, but we're always careful to fish responsibly. As the fisherman finished his tale, Amara realized that there were still so many stories about Nkiru and her influence that she had yet to learn. Each one taught a valuable lesson about kindness, generosity, and living in harmony with nature. Thank you for sharing this story with me, Amara said to the fisherman. I'll make sure to pass it on to the children. The old man nodded approvingly. That's good. It's important that these stories live on. They remind us of where we came from and guide us in how to live. As the sun began to set, casting a golden glow over the village, Amara looked out at the sea. She wondered what other magical creatures might be out there, hidden beneath the waves. Perhaps Nkiru was watching right now, smiling at how her legacy continued to shape the village she had loved so much. Amara made a silent promise to herself to keep collecting and sharing these stories. Each tale was a thread in the rich tapestry of their village's history, a history shaped by the magical breast milk of a kind woman who became a mermaid. As night fell and the first stars appeared in the sky, the villagers began to gather on the beach. It was a tradition that had started not long after Nkiru had left to join the mermaids. Every full moon, they would come together to share stories, sing songs, and remember the magic that had blessed their village. Amara took her place in the center of the gathering, ready to share the new story she had learned. As she began to speak, her voice carried over the gentle lapping of the waves, weaving a tale of magic, wisdom, and the enduring power of kindness. And so, the legend of Nkiru lived on, a beacon of hope and wonder for generations to come.